We've been working with Basingstoke Heritage Society to revitalise the town trail, which you can pick up in a number of different businesses at the top of the town and really bring heritage to as many people in Basingstoke as possible. It's got a route in the back, so you can um, do it in bits, I think, is really what we would always recommend. If you just want to know a bit about the town's history, it's a quick way in. Basingstoke's a great place to run a business. There is a very large population. So it's important to have a connection to the local community because we are on the site of the Blue Coat School. Um, there's the Blue Coat Boy statue. So there's a big connection all throughout the town. There's so many things really, whether it's keeping children entertained, whether it's finding out things that you never knew, uh, whether it's finding out things that you can then talk about with your friends or do with your friends, and, and those sorts of things just add a different dimension to that place where we just go there and enjoy tea and cake. I've travelled the world and I've always come back to Boats and Stoke. It's got a lot of history and people don't know about that history, which is unusual because a lot of people, customers we get still don't know about Burberry, don't know about Jane Austen. But as soon as they know about it, they love it. We really wanted to get people out and active and just explore in their local areas more. The trail's a great thing you can do just for free and, and spend as little time or as much money as you want because you could just walk it, you could stop on the way, you could get a, a drink for one of the great businesses in town and then sort of do some searching to find out some more information. I get a great buzz from seeing people consulting it and walking around the town, I have to say tend to live in the moment, so understanding where some of these things have come from and passing that on to people, I think is a really powerful thing that the trail can do.